Hey everybody, Metal Gamer Geek here. Welcome to another episode of Let's Play Above Snakes. I think we're building out the... Ice Lake? Yeah, Ice Lake it was. with my shoddy base here. Okay, so look at the map. We're gonna start building out this area over here, but I need to get to making better gear before I can do that, right? Did I just set myself up for a disaster? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe I gotta do this piece here. all around so I could just walk up to it. I think that's what I have to do. That's what I'm going to do. I don't know if it's what I have to do, but it's what I'm going to do. But also let's look at what we have consumable. I have water, I have meat, I have I have stuff. Okay. I feel like collecting huckleberries is like one of the fastest ways to get tiles. Oh cool. it's Fortunately, though, uh, making those bowls of berries doesn't do anything for your discovery of the uh, area. Chop, chop. Took down the berries. Start putting everything around. This is going to make my second tile. I need two more tiles, essentially. One more like I just put down. And a meadows to connect it. Why don't I go when I get all the tin from here? The tin and rocks. I mean, like, if I don't need the rocks, can I just dump them somewhere? So I, th I don't think I need so many storage boxes for everything. World piece. Yeah, one more. And then maybe some meadows to connect everything. Do 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 do. I think it's still somewhat, is it daytime or is it getting closer to the nighttime? I don't know. I also feel like having the pickaxe higher. I still never looked into it seeing like what it does if you have the pickaxe skill high or low. I need forest. Yeah, forest time. And a couple of meadows to connect it. And then we should be okay. Because I have to start... Well, then I have to start building out the ice lake and the cabin and stuff uh, on the lake. I wonder if it would be faster just to, to like... Constantly have to take out my pickaxe every time I find a spot. Why don't we start doing 
Well, we gotta finish taking all the tin out of here. Because if I want to start the next tier of workshop items, like that requires a lot of tin. I think a lot of glass, which I need rocks for. Um, if we do it like this, yeah, fill in the map. Do 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 do. do. I'm very grateful that there's no durability on pickaxes and tools. We're going to spend a day building out the map, gathering random resources. Which I don't even know if I need all this, but it's the quickest way to do it by the base. Do 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 do. Now we're back at the top. Let's get some huckleberries. Do, 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 do. So many meadows I've made. I wonder if there's a better way to go about building your map that I just didn't know about in the beginning. Probably is, but it's neither here nor there. I do know I need to make a lot more money again so I can go and buy that um, hitching post so I can get my own horse and maybe traverse the world a little bit faster. It's there. need feathers because I'm going to start needing them for I think if I want to make the ink quill like the ink wells just terrible RNG that's the name of this game feather okay so it does happen to just random trees Perfect. We're just going to chop down stuff until the day's over. So if I chop this tree down from this direction. It always falls the opposite direction that I'm looking. Okay. Put this guy here. Done. It always goes the opposite direction that you're facing. So if I wanted to chop a tree down into a tree, I would just do it like so, right? Efficiency. Okay. How much stuff do I have in my backpack now? I think I have like a lot of everything. All right, let's put this last piece here because. Yeah. All right, time to go home. Store all of our wonder. Uh, this is the log rocks and bones chest. Get your flint, you got a lot of flint. Cool beans. 
You are the food chest, which we got a bunch of berries. Carrots, mint, vanilla. Hold on to this. How many can I carry in a stack? Okay. I want to carry a stack of stuff. So we're also going to make a bunch of this. The anvil. We want the storage crate over here. Of our tin. Actually, we should probably start smelt. We should smelt all the tin. And make a bunch of nails. Anvil make a bunch of nails. I need coated rope and an iron ingot for that. I need iron for that. You, we don't need anything there. Nothing new. Tannery. We only have the boots and handcrafted. I need more teeth. Oh yeah, miscellaneous. You're also going to go in here, teeth. Bowstring we don't need. It's not weighing me down though, so I don't mind. Equip monk. We're good here. Right. And then go back to the tannery chest and put this tannery stuff in here. Uh, branches to make arrows, feathers to make arrows and ink, and fiber. All this goes back in this chest over here. And then we start making food. I need wood. Yeah, I was going to make a general just wood chest. Probably should get some rest. Before the day starts and I start losing sanity. Okay. My mouth feels so dry. And I'm starving, actually. Uh, eat that. Drink that. And then we're going to make this. Ten of these. Okay, that's good enough for me. And now we're going to go explore this area and we have to build a lake out there. Which means more huckleberries. That tin's going to take a full day to reset. I think all of the iron that I, ha I uh, harvested or mined should be Good to go by now. I hope that one doesn't like take forever to respawn. I need feathers. So cold, we're going to start putting in. What's the difference between these frozen, just frozen lake, frozen lake? Oh, I see. Kind of. Alright, I see a deer. I see a zombo. Alright, 
right. Oh, so we're down to one hit on these guys. Nice. Bones. I want your teeth. Skin and gut this guy. wonder if that coffee stuff replenished over here. You're going to give me antler and meat. Another deer. World piece is ready. What's this piece going to look uh, We have that piece. Let's go with this piece. if that's them. Excuse me, sir. That's very rude. What? That was rather loud. Where'd that person go? The one that I attacked and there they are. Couldn't see them. More bones. Alright, so we have zombos. What's the map look like? We have to get over there. I wanna just check the iron. I don't see it. Two hits with the axe to get rid of the wolf. Okay. I don't see the iron back. Which has me worried. back okay well there's two nodes why are you so loud like alarmingly loud Zombie here. Eighty five, and it didn't take him down. Rotten tooth. What if I run around this way? And avoid the wolves. So I have all this rock and all this iron now. If I run into here... Is there a way in? Yes, there's a door here. Cottage inhabitant. Hi, hey. nice, stranger. You look quite cold. If you want to warm up, you're welcome to use my stove over there. How do I make warm clothes? I see. Yes, you can freeze easily out there. I can help you with better clothing, and perhaps after that you return and help us with a favor. That's what we have here. And that's quite basic equipment. What you, what you need to do is add more layers and better lining to your leather armor. Lining, we use animal fat over here at the lake. You can get animal fat from penguins or even from a polar bear. You'll have to hunt them first. And again, you look like someone who could handle that. And if you get cold during your hunting, you're welcome to come back here and warm up. Okay, so penguins.
Penguins and bears. Oh my. Uh, that's coffee beans over there, I think, right? That's fever bush. Where was uh the coffee beans from? Oh, that was the birch, the birch forest. Never mind. Have to hunt polar bears and penguins. Why does it sound like I'm going to fall through the ice? Did I just use a common key to get a common key? Sixty seconds at a time is not a lot of time to do what I'm trying to do. Um. Oh, that's a an angular cold lake. Oh, okay. There's a tent there. I wonder if I'll be able to be okay if I go in there. Got this stuff already. I want to avoid the polar bear as, as, as much as possible. Oh, you get a lot of stuff from this here. Right. So, I don't want to be out on the ice at night, do I? A bet I could sleep in, buddy. Thank you. <sighs> Penguins are one shot. Stay away from the bear. Animal fat. There's a tannery here. Okay, good. I need three animal fats. Three animal fats. Hey, bear. Don't mind me. I'm just killing your penguin friend. That's two. Cut fishing hole. Cut a fishing hole. That's kind of cool. Go ice fishing. We're going to start to freeze in a moment. Gotta fight a polar bear, huh? What if we just uh don't? So the polar bear is friendly? Drink and Shoot him in the butt. Yeah, that hurts. We're gonna die. We're gonna freeze to death before we do that. <laughs> Fish. Try again. Three hits. Okay. Three hits is all it took. Meat. Meat. 
Didn't you say I could hunt polar bears, sir? So it seems that penguins are a guarantee. Polar bears are a maybe. I guess we've got to pick up more of this glass here. I've realized how much of a how much glass you can get from here. Oh crap, about to freeze. Two, one. Quick. Alright, we just made it. I have two animal fats. I gotta drop another penguin. Um where do they come out? They came out the most. This is where the polar bears were. I drop another one like here. Penguin. And then another one of these here just to see what happens. So penguins. Penguins seem to spawn more so here on this kind of tile. Take it. So now I can make my super cold, uh, tolerable armor. I wonder if you get different fish from over here. Warm up and then make your armor. Am I wearing it? Of course not. So now I don't have to worry about being cold. Wait. Hmm. Hey, you do well done, miss. Looks like a proper armor. Now you're ready to survive in the cold. Thank you. Oh, you're very welcome. I wouldn't want anyone to freeze out there. Do you, do you, do you need help? We got our fish from the lake, but the fisherman is having some trouble lately. Been losing a lot of his daily catch. Something about stealing a stealing polar bear. Can you go? I already killed him. Proper clothing against the cold. I should speak to Cheyenne and Kachetta. Yeah, so there's that one. Ice fisher. I need to travel to the ice lake with the ice fisherman and the polar bear. Seems to have trouble with some. Okay. Find the. Oh, I have to find the ice fisherman. New world researchable piece. That's this piece. So... I have to wait till I get another piece before I do anything. I want to finish exploring this area before we leave. With my luck, it's going to be like, oh, thanks. Cool, you can go into the cold now. Get some animal fat. Do a bunch of stuff. So that's the tile I went to already. This is the new... Wait, what? I know I didn't get to all of this. It can... This... So many keys. Easy forms. Less. Who puts rocks in a treasure chest? Honestly. I mean, I guess it could be a storage crate, but no, the, to me, these are treasure chests. Who, who values rocks that much? I thought it was these two pieces we had everything for, but I guess I dipped into here for a second, right? 
it is nice not having to run around and scurry the borders a lot with uh, the warmth thing. So I don't think I need the boots I'm wearing. Those were temporary boots. I thought I remember reading also if you're too well insulated in like if I go to the plains. Overheat. I need to place a uh this. Ooh, a penguin. No, let's test out and see if we get some different fish or different things from here. I wonder if the water is dirty from here. Catfish. Totally what you get in a frozen lake. Is it dirty water or is it clean water? Nope, still dirty. Okay. Give me your fat. Give me your, give me, thank you. Give me your delicious, chewy, ch chewy, gooey fat, please. But now that I'm here, I don't have to worry about weather. We're gonna mine some iron. Okay, we have a ton of iron now. Oh, we're gonna get caught. We're gonna get caught in the nighttime. All right, so there, we got a decent amount of iron. We have to go back. Yeah, this way. And when I research this piece, uh, help! Here we're home. We just made it. All right, let's sleep the the night away and begin in the morning. <sighs> So now we're going to research that part, that little map piece. I have two map pieces I could research. I have this, which is I need two fabrics. I need six winter berries. We have to go back. Wait, no, no, I should have winter berries in the, uh, in the food chest. I should have had winter berries in the food chest. Huh. Didn't. That's a kick in the pants. Before we do anything, let's go smelt some iron. I have wood on me, so we don't have to worry about that. It's nice, actually. That's a decent haul. What did we need the iron for, exactly? Oh, I needed it for an iron uh, and resin. Okay, I don't think I have any resin. I need two, I think. I do. We have a bunch of branches. Throw them there. And then two iron ingots. 
I can make a better pickaxe. Now this ring, I need just two iron ingots. What does that exactly give me? Craft from storage would be so good. It ups my gear level, or it's at gear level one. So now my equipment, I'm wearing this stuff. It doesn't really do any, oh, crit chance plus two. Okay, so that's actually pretty good, I guess. I don't have any head armor. Alright, let's go down here. Drop off this. Wood, antlers. Where'd the fat go? I'm gonna put it over here. Well, I could I have over oh, I have fabrics. That's the thing I need. Three winter berries. I swore I picked so many winter berries before. Maybe I. Maybe I'm just misremembering. I don't know. I could have swore I had winter berries. But now I need at least six. I'm gonna pick five. Let's go to the lake. Frozen lake. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start building it around this way so that it like kind of. Oh no, I can only do it that way on this one. Oh, okay. Let's have some of this. Good. Hmm. We're back at the village, so let's go see what she was talking about. I see you found my beehive where I make candles. You use bee wax to make candles. Those trusty little bees are such a wonder. Having a lit candle around at night gives helpful... Oh, settlers have some kind of tradition of decorating trees with lights. Something about lighting up the... Oh, are you kidding me? Would you hear that? I overheard some folks talk about it when I did some trading. Oh, it was two brothers, I think. I think I up the dark with a big tree filled with candles at night. What a sight that must be. Try decorating a tree as well. Can try to make candles. So I don't have... Oh, so I can travel at night. Uh, let's decorate a large tree with lights. Could be... Could have been the Brown Brothers, yeah. Anyway, let's try to make some of this. Make ten candles at a furnace. Talk to the Brown Brothers. Find and light up a large tree at night. Oh. Okay, but where's Cheyenne? That's the chief. What are these researchable pieces? And it's a rare key. Open up this with a comic key. Give me a rare key? Oh, give me hide. You know what? Let's go see. I got so many keys. Feather, which is nice. Book. I don't want books. I want a rare key so I can steal more of your stuff. Talk to Cheyenne. Hmm. Hi again, Ayana. So you made it to the ice lake and I see you made yourself some good warm clothing. Was it a tough journey through the cold? It was very cold. Yes, I know. I'm sorry to have sent you out there. You're much better equipped now. Uh, what's the favor you needed? There's a wolf who lives in the snow-covered forest, which was has which now suddenly has green eyes. As a that's right. Uh, she's been attacking the village again, even even just now last night. She's obviously a danger to everything around her, so we must do what is necessary. Can you please go and find the wolf in the snow-covered forest and put her down? Yep. 
So I have to go talk to the fisherman at the ice lake and kill a f kill a um, a tainted wolf, essentially. Find the big oak in the snow-covered forest. Kill the wolf with the green eyes. So many pieces. I need to get winter berries before I do anything else. Winter berries. Why is my pickaxe not where I need it to be? Equipment, you are number two. Thank you. Give me your teeth. Common key. Why do I lose sanity when harvesting? I could understand if it was like harvesting organs off these people. A tooth. Each one of these gives me two, right? I think before it was because I was just I wasn't able to withstand the cold here, so I was just dipping in and out. I was avoiding the berries altogether. But maybe by the time he got up, I would be able to harvest a couple of berries. So now I can make the tile. Get up. There we go. Sanley's about to dip. Medicine or sleep. So that's the only way I could restore it without having to, like, make a special concoction. While we're here, let's get some iron. I don't think I see any more iron anywhere. Give me a lone wolf. Oh, never mind. I see iron right here. So the iron. So wolves will they leash onto you when they see you, or you make a noise? I guess that wolf just turned over here. But they they unleash or they uh, detach when you get. A certain distance away from, I guess, where they saw you. Uh, home is this way. Oh, I'm going the wrong way completely. Well. Do, 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 do. So I don't have that piece anymore here. I don't know why. Is it because of my sanity? It might be. Research. Dude. Polar bear turret. So this is the th so many uniques. Uh, pine and snow covered plains and snow plains. What? All right. So first we're doing polar bear territory. Honey fabric. Oh, we need fabric. To, yeah, fi fabric for the planes. I have honey. Uh, so much honey. Yes, no planes. We have this planes. Um, rocks. Rocks are here. Tons of rocks. I like rocks. If 
fabric, fabric, fabric. So I need what? Two, five, seven, ten, fourteen. I need 14 pieces of fabric, so that's 28 pieces of cotton. 28 pieces of cotton. Jeez. I don't know if I have that many over there. Consumables. Let's put stuff in the chests before we head out to the plains. The rocks back. Berries, honey, water, fish, can, meat, bones. Not bones. There we go. So I can make another iron ingot. And one more tin. This. I just need beeswax. So this gives me, this gives me two. So old, old. Where did I put all that beeswax? One beeswax makes you Where did I get that handcrafted tannery furnace? Now I have this. So if you're a furnace thing, then we're going to put you down here in the... F oh, it's miscellaneous, so... I wish you could put stuff on the bookshelf, but that's not in the cards. Alright, so we have... We could put the cabin down here. The ice cabin. Ice lake guy. That's the only place it works where it doesn't put it out in the middle of nowhere. That's the ice fisherman with the polar bear problem. Okay. Let's go there. This comes here. And now we go to the plains, which is to the north. To get... 28 pieces of cotton. I don't even know. It's It might be possible with all those tiles. Oh, food. Basically, three berries in a water is enough to get me through the food. The the hunger uh, drink thirst cycle. So if I go pick up three berry, three huckleberry bushes, and a thing of water, yeah. All right, here we go. Time to. Get all this cotton. 28 we have to get. One. I hate it here. That's what I was thinking. The planes are hot. So I need to craft another armor. So this requires leather arm. So this just requires three fabric, which I don't even know if I have it. I have like two. I have two. So I guess we're just going to go there with um, no armor.
I just don't get hit. I do appreciate, though, that it's not like you have just one general uh, backpack with X amount of slots. You have, like, multiple backpacks with unique numbers of slots. Need the cotton. Cotton, cotton. It's not going to be that much on this one. It's in these tiles. That's two. Three. We're a fifth of the way there. We're a quarter of the way there, because now I have seven, eight. I'm going to have to do multiple runs to and from here, I'm assuming, because I don't have enough tiles. I mean, I could just drop another tile. Yeah. And here's a cotton. I how many I have. Eleven. Don't get hit. them. Give me teeth. I want teeth. Twelve. Thirteen. Uh, Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen over here. Seventeen by up there. So we got a decent amount. Actually, all I need are just two more because I've realized I have two two fabrics at the base. Is it worth it? Get off the rock. The tile I just placed over here in the way, way back. One. Just one more. There we go. That should be all that I need. Why does this look different? I think it's just regular rock. Yeah. Alright, so we should have enough now. Maybe next time bring a carrot and steal that horse. I mean, borrow and return, borrow with intent to return at a later undetermined date. We don't steal here. Coffee plant? Just chilling here? What? Does the coffee plant just randomly grow in the plains now? It's not a birch specific, a birch forest specific, uh, grow. Nope. 
I need to make more. Nope, 24. That's 12. That's enough. 14. Math. It's not my strong suit, but sometimes it works out. Let's research all these tiles now. Hold on. Okay, brick. Okay, brick. It rocks. Alright, so there is a reason why I guess I was harvesting all those rocks. Honey and fabric. Honey. You only get honey from the tree bees. You don't get them from the bees that you you uh put down over here. So if I go to these guys, I'm just I'm just gonna get bees what wait a minute. There's honey there, it looks like. You sometimes get honey? You sometimes get honey. So far, every time I've done this, I've always just gotten beeswax. Okay. Put the honey coffee beans. What do I just do? Take this, put that back. Take this, make the steaks. Catfish, we're gonna gut. Uh. Got him. Did I just eat a fish by accident? Yes, I did. <gasps> yep, I ate raw fish. <laughs> Cool beans. Ah. Some more huckleberry bowls. Does being food poisoned also like dehydrate you as well? Because that would suck. Uh, just health. Put those back. Put the raw meat back. Fine there. Rocks and beeswax. Rocks. Flint. Beeswax. I wish you could sort this. Even if it's just it's like an al alphabetic sort, please. That's all I ask. Where am I putting my bones? Oh, here. Okay, so now I have to find the big oak in the snow covered forest. Put it there. Also make 10 candles. That's going to be easy. Uh, just need that one log. So I've already got candles made from another time. Uh, 
I need that candle back that I made. Let's go talk to the bro. Let's do this optional stuff first. Put that candle. Sir? Do I still have it on me? Yeah, I have it on me because it's miscellaneous. I didn't throw it away. Uh, Brown Brothers are by the lake, which... Could be time to harvest more tin. Yep, it's tin in time. Eat, 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 and drink. Probably also should think about getting more, more dirty water. So in the cold, uh, one of these from the forest? No, I need, I need an angular forest piece. There it is. Perfect. All right, let's go down here to the, the Brothers Brown. Go about half on my fatigue meter. This is one more time. All right. Here they are. Hmm. Feel much safer now with the provisions and repair tents, but I still hope you can return to Corpse Creek. Is there anything I can help you with? Yeah, decorating trees. Actually, my brother Greg knows most about that. You should ask him. Fine. Hmm. Finally, a nice sleep without rain or wind on my. Yep, we already talked about that. If you hadn't come along, thanks. Trees now. I've heard you have a tradition where you decorate trees with lows. This is about Christmas. Of course, as night gets cold and dark, we have a way of bring some light into this darkness. Custom to uh, blah, 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 decorate trees at home, but also put a large tree in town square and decorate it. Use small candles on a pine tree. Turns out the snowy pine trees work best as they tend to be less flammable. Why do you ask? I want to decorate one. I heard it from a friend. It seems like quite a sight to decorate a tree like that. Uh, certainly can be can create the most wondrous sights indeed. It's almost like creating a night full of stars yourself. Find a large tree in the middle of the night. That sounds like a, a reasonable thing to do. All right, what we're gonna do though is we're gonna get all this tin. Go back home. Smelt it down with the bars. Turn those bars into nails, and then we're going to start maybe working on planks. This only takes two chops now. Nice. Sometimes two. Mostly three. Are big chunks of tin. It should be the last one, I think, right? This should be the last one. Yeah, now I'll go home. Chopping down trees along the way. this up. I think I have some tin ore in here. I do not. That goes there. Just drop this wood here. 
And then we're going to... All that just made... I was going to say it only made two? No, it made... I forget how many it made. Let's take this and... Let's make that many. Furnace. Make me... Oh, anvil. Make me some of this, please. Because I know tin nails are going to be uh, a thing I need to make my upgrades. All right. Let me see this. I have more teeth. I need just two more teeth and I could make... Um, Two more teeth. I should just hold on to the teeth. Two more teeth and I can make an upgraded necklace. But we're going to sleep. <sighs> and we're going to call it here for this episode of Let's Play Above Snakes. Uh, if you like the video, drop a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to the channel. And hit that notification bell. You'll get alerted when I post content and when I go live on streams here on YouTube. Uh, the best way to support the channel is uh, leave comments, share the video, share the channel. Uh, but until next time, take care, have a good one, and I'll see you soon.